In my adult years, I moved right to New York City and landed at this thing called the Pyramid Club. It was art themed, like there were art performances and art dance and arty bands and I would make flyers for these things. So then they started putting them in magazines and newspapers and then I started getting a fan base, I suppose. So he saw it, oh, Taboo, I love Taboo, oh yes, I'm working on this new collection about an old New York City goth kind of thing, Taboo fits right into this. In fact, I sell Taboo's book in my bookshop. There's me. Photo by Stephen Mizell. Okay, that's me. I come up to the studio, and there on a the wall, they had like 35 images of me. Me in drag, me in my flyers, me in my paintings. I'm like, okay, they want me. And every single thing I submitted, they love it. Oh, we love it. Gorgeous. We love it. Gorgeous. Give me some more. How about this? Oh, we love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. I'm like, more? Sure. Okay, now we want some really fancy high end couture. We want a cape and a coat. So then they bring me the pieces of fabric, all individually cut up, but not put together yet. So all I did was go, and voila, it was done. Then they showed me some of the stuff they're working on, and I was like screaming at the top of my lungs, like, oh my god, I can't believe it! Because it was wild to see my stuff all glammed up. You know, the great thing about being an artist, for me, is freedom to be myself. So people say, oh, I recognize that taboo touch. And it's like, okay, that's me.